Today, we're going to meet a modeler from the other side of the world. However, this isn't a model railroader, per se. There is no railroad in the country of his childhood, really. Uh, there is no railroad in Iraq anymore, if there ever was one. I think there was one, he says, but it's all been destroyed now because of war. And war is a funny thing. Well, it's, it's not really funny at all, except for the fact that the amount of pain and suffering that you experience in the war, how does that affect your modeling? And does it affect your modeling in a, in a beneficial way? Does it drive your passion to accomplish the task? Ali Alamedi has really found those challenges in his life that have made him have to move his family from Iraq to Turkey. And on the other side of the world, to find his peace of mind, Ali Alamedi makes scale models. Now again, let's not confuse this with model railroading, but let's just see this for the art that it is. For the fact that you can't go to a local hobby shop and buy materials. You have to get it from the little aluminum plates inside your oven. Or maybe it's the uh, pop cans or maybe uh, fabric from a child's toy. All these things can be made into a model and just look at what can be accomplished. Hey Ron. Hello. How are you doing? Well, I think this is better, right? Yeah. It's a fantastic yeah, cool. connection. I can't believe it. Uh, yes, in Turkey the internet is so good. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, hi, Ali, and thank you for talking to me today. Uh, hi, Iran. How are you? Thank you for the interview. Good, good. Um, I, I first uh, seen your yep. models, I think, uh, last spring. I seen your fantastic models. And then uh, shortly yep. after noticing these models and befriending you on Facebook, uh, I, I saw a story about you, you moving to Turkey. That's where you are now? Uh, yes, yes. I'm in Turkey now. Uh, we fled from Iraq uh, before, uh, well, I think a year or something like that. Yeah. Okay. And now we are refugees at Turkey and we applied for the UN. So we are waiting for, for uh, the resettlement. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, you're, you're a fantastic modeler. How, how did you get into Thank this? You. <laughs> how did you get into this? Well, I'm not uh, sure actually. I just uh, love to make, uh, you know, a miniature scene. Yeah. Um, I don't remember exactly when, uh, which date I started this, but you know, it's like about uh, uh, like a six years, uh, like a six years ago. Yeah. And. Uh, and at the beginning, I didn't know that, that there is a models makers and there's a miniatures. And actually, I didn't know the word miniatures or diorama. Yeah. Uh, so, so I started to, uh, making a search research about uh, this kind of models. And I didn't uh, find anything because I don't have the keyword, you know? Yeah, the, the dioramas or scale model. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The problem is, in the Middle East, there is nothing uh, like dioramas and miniature. Maybe the, uh, a few models, but uh, there's not at all uh, like a full diorama. Yeah, more like children's toys. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Just can't cut it because my wife showed the video in the background. Oh, sorry, I'll hide that. I'll hide okay. that, sorry. So, so at, at the beginning, I didn't know the word diorama or miniatures because we didn't use in the Middle East uh, uh, things like that. So, so they were basically uh, kind of like uh, really realistic toys. Ah, yes, exactly. The main problems were 
we don't have tools in Iraq or material that, that helps in making these miniatures. Uh, but, you know, I tried my best to... Uh, um, Repurpose? Uh, Recycle? Yes, yes. Uh, recycle things like, uh, uh, you know, um, the plastic, uh, uh, you know, the, the plastic, uh, the parts, parts for uh, the toys and so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, I used uh, the aluminum foil. Yeah. Uh, the disposable washes, uh, you know, the plates, the disposable plates. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, so, so I tried my best. Uh, when I tried to make the weathering, I didn't find, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, like a helpful tools or, yeah. or materials. Uh, but I used the coffee, uh, and then I discovered the uh, uh, the pastille. The oh, pastille. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. Common. And I still use it. I still use it. Yes. It's very useful for 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 the weathering. Yeah. Uh, regarding the painting, I use the acrylic paints, the normal paints that, that I can find in the market. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, step by step, I uh, we could. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, improve the, you're repurposing, the you're repurposing materials. So you also use uh, paper and card, I expect. Cereal yes, box? yes, the paper and the cards. I use the, the all kinds of woods, uh, the available material. Yeah, you know? yeah, common materials. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And and step by step, I, uh, uh, you know, friends of mine from different countries. This, uh, um, some. I like uh, oh the kindness of fellow modelers oh yes I see. yes yes of course yes. I have the most great friends in the world believe me oh goodness they, yes especially in the hard days before I leave uh, to here okay I got all kind of uh, uh, the great the great. Uh, uh, it touches your heart, doesn't it? Yes, yes, of course oh. it did. Of oh. course it did, because it's amazing. You know, when, when you have friends from Italy, from the USA, mm -hmm. uh, uh, from Europe, from all over the world, they're offering me jobs, they're offering me their houses to live in. This is amazing, this is oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, appreciate, they, they appreciate the work. Uh, the uh, yes, 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 exactly. And I really appreciate uh, the support I got from them. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, yes, yes, it's really amazing. It's helped me a lot. Yeah. It's really helped me. I bet you that inspires you too. Uh, yes, yes, that's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. Because you cannot, uh, uh, you know, be worried or afraid because you have all kinds of support. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know it, it's that? an unexpected, an unexpected thing, you know. I yes, imagine. Yes, it's really unexpected, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in, in Iraq, uh, uh, like uh, I'll talk about myself. Like if if I was gr making big toys for kids, you know, everybody would kind of chuckle yeah. <laughs> behind uh, the yes. back, right? And yes, then all of a sudden, you get all the support. Uh, yes, this is the point. They really uh, it's helped me. To, uh, to keep on, you know, yeah. to move on, because I got all the kind of support, mm -hmm. and this is really great thing, really great thing. Mm. So they really, uh, you know, they really uh, 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 they explain the the true meaning of friendship. Oh yes, 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 and that's really. Um, uh, that's really a great thing. Oh, it is. It is, and uh, it is. Okay, great. And your your English is wonderful. Like uh, when we oh, first, really? yeah, when when we <laughs> first when we first talked about yeah. the YouTube videos, yeah, you said uh, I don't want to talk. Uh, you, um, my English is not so good, but this is great. Yes. <laughs> well, you know that. 
Uh, the, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but you know we. I just uh, I just like it uh, to make everything uh, like a, uh, a good, you know. Yeah. We That's why I don't want to make uh, like a voiceover. Maybe that <laughs> there will be some mistakes. There will be uh, like a stops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. You'll you'll find okay. out you'll find out if you make more videos. It's very forgiving to cut uh, yes. to cut that little piece out and put in a new piece. Like say you say door wrong, you cut it out and then you just go door. Yeah. You know and it uh, fixes yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know I have experience of like a, a like a twelve year in, in working in, in the media area. Oh really. Ah, yes, 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 I'm a motion graphic designer and art director, and I work with editing like, like, a, like an eight years. Oh, wow, wow. Ah, yes. That's yes, fantastic. I'm working on, on the 3D Max and After Effects, uh, the Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, and so. Oh, goodness. Uh, wow. yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So what are some of the, the materials that you use? For modeling, uh, other than like uh, the razor blade, do you have uh, like your models are so crisp, you know? Uh, yeah. Like there's lots of weathering and it's beautiful, but when you look at these, uh, like you've got, I don't know how to explain it without looking at a picture, you know? But uh, you know, in your, yeah. you did a video of the door, and all these yep. pieces are cut out so finely. Do you have a tool that you use? Well, actually, I don't have a tool. I have this tool, and this is very useful, you know? Yeah, yeah. This is a kit that's very useful. But the problem with this, it's... it's. I have one, too. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem with this is uh, the blade is sliding a bit. Oh, it goes like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is the problem. The, uh, uh, the main important thing in the modeling, uh, we are making a small models. Yeah. We are making a miniatures. Yeah. Uh, the mistakes is not allowed at all. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because in the real life uh, models, when you make uh, uh, like a closet or, or a table, okay, uh, there you are can no mistake abuse. with uh, with maybe. A, Maybe a millimeter or two or three, but in the miniature you cannot. Yeah. Because any mistake will affect the whole model. Yeah, yeah. So do you sand? Do you sand it? Yes, I. Uh, let me. Okay. <laughs> Here is my mice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Emery the, paper? The sand paper, yes. Yeah. I have all kinds of, uh, you know, degrees and uh, smoothness. Uh, this is a great one, actually. Yeah. Okay. So it's very important uh, uh, to be careful about uh, the edges. Yeah. You know, when we are going uh, to, like, if you the two parts, we have it have. There's no mistake. Mistakes not allowed in our world. Yeah, because you know it's so obvious. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, so that's, that's why we need. Uh, by the way, I use <laughs> this scroll? one a lot. Oh, okay. This is amazing tool. Yeah, the scroll saw. Ah, uh, yes, the scroll saw or the jewelry saw. The jewelry saw, yeah. Yes, I, I have print. Uh, Oh, okay. Sure you see it. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I print it on on the A4 paper and then glue it uh, to the wood and then. Well, you can't see this. One. Oh wow! Oh, I see. So you transfer these. Oh, and then you cut them out with the scroll saw. Oh, I see. Yes. Because now I'm working on on a grandfather clock. You see. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> it needs a lot of accurate uh, work, so, so that's why I love working with miniatures because yeah. mistakes are not allowed, you know? Yeah. yeah. So what scale is that? What scale? 
This is 112. 112? 112. Yes. Uh, it's, it must be so one. rewarding to have something come out looking so good. Uh, yes. Uh, the 112... Uh, uh, well, actually, I consider the, the 112 as a huge scale. Yeah. You know, because I work on one uh, uh, 118 and one... Uh, 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 24? 24 and maybe smaller than this also yeah because at the beginning i wasn't had any idea about uh, the scales yeah proportion so i just yeah i use the proportion i just have the idea from uh, working with the with the 3d uh, programs yeah. on the computer yeah okay so the most important thing about our work is the eye yeah you have uh, uh, you should have the eye uh, uh, to get all the details on uh, uh, the real object. Yeah. So, so, so this is a very important thing, you know, because uh, when you catch them, you can use them in your models. Yeah. It's very important to, uh, to have these edges a uh, little bit worn you know, off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is very important. These things are, uh, you know, they give the life to the model. Yeah, yeah. So this is important. And the, the most important thing is uh, uh, to love what you are making, yes. you know? Yes, yes. This is a very important thing. Uh, let me, uh, 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 this one, I made this one and got an order to make two. Oh wow! <laughs> but I cannot make the second one, <laughs> you know, because I made this because I loved uh, that. Yeah. Then the second become... one is like you producing. Uh, this is not not you know I I uh, they always uh, uh, say, say it's a hobby. No, it's not a hobby. It's a uh, you know it's an art. It's a passion. Yes. Yes, it's a passion. It's an art, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I really love what I do. Yeah. And uh, uh, <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. It's and wonderful. I think the models are, uh, you know, the things we are making uh, with our spirit, with our love. Yeah. Uh, the audience, uh, they always will see that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we put the, the part from ourselves, you know? Yeah. The the curiosity of getting yes. to the end. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you, but the, the, you're a very patient person, as you, as I see, you know. Uh, you, well, I have to pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to. So what because... do you use, what do you use uh, for, like, this clock? Are you working from pictures? Ah, yes. Uh, uh, well, let me show you the... Uh... Oh, I see. This is the guideline, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So and that's... I first make the uh, uh, the plan, the, uh, the plan. But uh, uh, the most important thing in my work, I'm not making the whole uh, things and then fix them. No. But I uh, make uh, each part aside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take your time. Yes, that's why I get the accurate result. Yeah. This is a very important thing. Yeah. The thing I want also uh, uh, to talk about is uh, we have to look uh, not in general, you know, because when you look in general uh, to your work, you will say, oh my God, that is good. But you have to make uh, 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 pay attention with the small details, you know. Yeah. This is the most important thing. Yeah. In, this in is your what scale, makes our models special. In in your scale, you can add all the details, all these yes. large scales. Uh, whereas I I'm in very small scale, so I have to yeah. imply details. I have to uh, make people yes, think that the details are there. But in the big scale, yeah. you've got to. You have to. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yes. Um, so these, these, uh, you know, some of my most favorite photographs from you are of uh, dumpsters. 
Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful. Many, many friends uh, remember me once they see a dumpster in their country. <laughs> <laughs> they always messages me. that I say. Oh, Ali, I just uh, remember. You <laughs> Ali, I just seen the I most beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. And that makes me happy, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's real life, you know? Uh, yeah. That's real yeah, life, that's you know, true. you see everybody take pictures of nice cars, all nice and shiny, but who turns and looks down the alley? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, this is the point. And that's, uh, <laughs> I really appreciate that. Oh, yes. man, you know, as we're speaking here, I'm going to be putting these photos that we're talking about over top okay, of this, so people great. are going to be like drool coming out of their mouth, <laughs> you know, to be like... <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the expert. You can. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yes, I'm sure you will get a great uh, job with it. So, so in uh, Turkey, is um, yes. is modeling at all? Well, yes, I think uh, uh, there are uh, modelers, but they are generally they focus uh, to the boots and the shapes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because you know the. Uh, uh, the main transportation at, at the old ages it was the ships. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I mean here in Turkey. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe uh, no. Actually, they they have uh, uh, military uh, military uh, mod uh, models makers as yeah, well. Yeah. 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 Yes, and I once I, I attended uh, uh, like an exhibition for, for the military. Uh, uh, models like like uh, tanks and uh, yeah. the army cars, you know, stuff like this. Was that? But, I, <laughs> but actually, I don't like uh, the military models yeah, yeah. because you know. Uh, oh we, no! <laughs> I think I can understand why. Ah uh, yes, yes. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> in it's our sad. real life. It's sad. That's why I hate working with it. Yeah, I see. But it was probably the first time that you've ever been to a show like that, right? No? Yes, yes. Oh, so so it was. He did have interest for you. Uh, it's just that the topic matter wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Maybe you could yeah. steal some ideas and take away the good from the bad. Yes, 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 for sure. Yes. So, um, go ahead. Yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> okay. Next. Um, okay. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, what are some of these uh, tricks that you use, like uh, for um, outdoor modeling, like uh, like modeling these? Uh, because uh, many of my uh, modeling friends, like you, do uh, the storefront, and then you see inside the window, and the the, the yeah. door is perfectly detailed, and the sign is like, oh, the pictures you've been coming out with lately are just. <laughs> But they really are. They really are. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, but, uh, you know, like uh, the roads. Do, do you do something special to make your roads look like, because they got a lot of depth, your, your models? Well, uh, lately I'm trying to use uh, the real material, mm. uh, which, is, uh, uh, which means... Uh, the walls, uh, uh, I mean, in the, uh, in the real life, are made of uh, brick, uh, plaster of Paris, or, or from bricks. Oh, okay, I see. Yes. Ah, yes. That's why I use plaster of Paris with the with the walls, uh, with even the roads, because it's a real, uh, it's a natural material. Yeah, yeah. And you can get uh, the real look. Yeah. You know, because it, it, it's a real Yeah, that's material, what it is. You know? We have a yeah. saying we have a saying here that you can't make okay. real wo wood look like anything but real wood. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, we we, uh, we use uh, for stucco here. I've uh, gotten kits where we've used a uh, water putty. Um, okay. And and stucco yes. too, you know, you you dab a yeah, bit yeah. You dab the powder in the brush, and then you put it in a gray paint, uh, yes. and apply it to the piece, and it and it, it yep. captures that texture, doesn't it? Yeah. 
that's why I say it's uh, we need an eye, you know. We have it, uh, to get the whole uh, details, the texture, the spirit of, of the texture, you know. Yeah. The spirit of it. Yeah. Uh, like the rust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rust is an art, it's a natural art. Oh my know? goodness, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Just uh, not yes, one yes, color. Ah, because... <laughs> uh, yes, because uh, 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 the randomity of, of the colors, it's amazing. Yeah. Besides, the rust is, is the witness on many, many, uh, like, and actions and events. They're the wrinkles on our skin, the rust. Yeah, uh, it's, yes. it's the, the, yeah. the sign of age. Yes, exactly. Mm. That's why I love the rest and the age wood in my work because mm. it shows the history, it shows the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your work yeah. has a lot of depth. Yeah. Like uh, the the weathering looks like you've been doing it for forty years. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, because you know, uh, uh, this is what makes our models special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the spirit, you know, the spirit of each details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a very important thing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, do you photograph your models outside? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, because let me uh, explain this point. Uh, when I built uh, like a passive or, or uh, uh, like a storefront, yeah. uh, the real storefront must be outside. It's not out. <laughs> it's not yeah. inside. Yeah. You know? Uh, uh, that's why it looks uh, real and natural because it's affected by by the sun yeah uh, by the natural light yeah yeah like in indoors my models look really dirty but when i take them outside in the sun they look it's subtle it's very nice this is the point because the, they already outside it's not uh, the indoor uh, you cannot build the house in, uh, inside the house, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, the people used to see the storefront and uh, outside, no, yeah. not inside. Uh -huh. yeah. This is a very important point with, with the, uh, to make a photograph uh, to our models. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's what makes a, a model that's made for photography a lot different yeah. than a model that's made for a convention. Uh, so Yes, or, yeah. or museums. Yeah. It's a totally different. Yeah. Uh, 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 you can see in the museum, you always see, see uh, the indoors uh, scene. Yeah, very subtle, like not, not as dirty. Yes. Yeah. Because it's not... Uh, the dirty ne needs uh, 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 the lights of sun, you know. Uh, very powerful uh, have, sunlight, yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So the, this is a very important point, you know. Uh, uh -huh. It's really imp this is really really important, right? Yeah, yeah. Those are because, very. Uh, ah yes, because uh, 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 when I make uh, this vlog, I cannot uh, take a picture uh, uh, an outdoor. Yeah. This is impossible because we uh, we used to, uh, to see it inside the, the house or or the rooms. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, and we are making. Uh, we are making real things. Yeah. So we so, are making real things in miniatures. Yeah. We are not uh, like a duplicate uh, uh, or making a fake thing. Yeah. No. Whereas we are making real, real things in a small scale. Yeah. This is the point. Yeah. Well. Well. Whereas your your uh, uh, darkening things for outside, your. Yeah. You're lightening things for inside, like you're you're sanding off the bottom. Yes, yeah, exactly, mm. exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why it looks uh, real and natural. Yeah, I think that's why your work looks so realistic. Is that you're you're doing these kinds of things? Uh, you know what? The other things that helps me in make uh, maybe my work is, is uh, like uh, like a different uh, because I use uh, the real material. Yeah, the real material, and I use them with passion. Yeah, with love. This is very important. Believe me, it's very important. Oh yes, oh yes. Well, yes. I find that uh, I do my best work when I am distressed. 
Yes. You know, I, I'm yeah. so distressed yes, yes. with life yes. that I've got to go put my head down and build something. Yes. Do you feel that way too for your life? Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. That for sure. That for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's almost, you know, uh, uh, it, it's the one thing that makes the the problems in our life better, you know. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and everybody need uh, a release needs to discover the uh, uh, the creative side in his outlet. Yeah. In, inside him, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and that's really that's why we can see uh, the miniatures and the, the scale modulars and uh, the miniaturist as really uh, 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 lovely and uh, a kind uh, uh, people, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We yes, can... because because you know it's 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 because of love. Yeah. Passion. When you make these things, yes, yes, when you make these things from from real and you make them in miniatures and you try to, uh, to give them uh, from your spirit and from your love. Yeah, this, you're this passing life to it, yes. Yes, mm. yes, that. That's very insightful, it's very insightful. I, I feel that, the, you know, I, I feel best when I have a trouble that I'm bringing yeah. through and putting into a model. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, this is really... We're so backwards, aren't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, at the end, we are crazy people. Yeah, that's it, that's it. The crazy with the smile. <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. I, I got to say, it's been great talking to you, and I hope I can talk to you again or maybe encourage Thank you, you. to you come so on much. another show. If I can introduce you to people, I think that... You'd be able to meet lots of people, but if you know, whatever. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I, I, I really you like your so work. Much, uh, Ron, and I really appreciate your interest in my work, and and really I appreciate your your friendship, and uh, uh, <laughs> I wish you all the best, my friend. Me too. Back right back <laughs> at you. We may meet at Canada someday. <laughs> yeah, that would be so fascinating. That would be awesome. <laughs> It will be great for me too, my friend. You'll be able to show me some uh, some computer fireworks or something. Ah, yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thanks for talking, and uh, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, send me some photos we'll talk tomorrow. again. Ah, yes, yes, I will send you a few. Uh, awesome. Uh, okay. This was great. Oh, okay. Have a good night. You too, my friend. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Ron. Bye bye. So that's our interview with Ali Alamedi. If you want to find Ali on Facebook, it's Alamedi Diorama, I believe the name is off the top of my head. And uh, it just goes to show this interview with Ali that if you find model railroading too expensive, scale modeling may just be that cheap recycling project that could look like this for zero dollars it's all about what's in your passion not so not what your friends are doing or anybody else it's about what you're doing what your outlet is in life and I believe that that's the key to being a great modeler a great artist and a good human being so till next time Till the next Meet the Modeler, my name is Ron Perry, and I hope you liked our video today. If you want to contribute to these videos, please consider going to patreon.com slash ronperry. Thank you.